Hey, my name is Jamal and I'm a retail solutions engineer here at Shopify. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to perform stock transfers within Stocky. So to start, what we'll want to do is click into our inventory section here and select stock transfers. The purpose of stock transfers is to help you move products from one location to another. So for example, after you've created a purchase order and accepted that inventory and received it at one location, you might want to transfer it to other locations um, as you'd see fit, which you can see here, which I've done a, a couple of times when it comes to uh, sending something from and sending something to. So there's a bunch of different reasons why you'd want to create stock transfers, but the most common one is we just see moving uh, products from typically a warehouse to another store location or between locations um, for help you uh, make sure your stock is correct at each location. So to create a stock transfer, what you'll want to do is click the stock transfer button right here. And you'll want to choose a source location, which is going to be where you're sending products from. So it's very important right here that you're selecting the right location. So I'll send it from my warehouse and then you'll want to send it to the destination location. Again, very important when it comes to uh, writing the inventory to the correct place. So always confirm that these are correct. After you've created and selected the source and destination locations, you want to click create. So as you want to add products within your stock transfer, you've got a couple of options. You can use the plus products right here to use a bulk add of variance. This will bring up a widget where you can actually add specific products right here and the transfer quantity amounts um, right here. And then you can hit tab to input the product directly or input the uh, quantity right here and hit add items. When you do that, you can see the number available currently at your location and you can see, sorry, your source location, and then you can see how many you'll be sending from your source location to your destination location. So that's one way to add uh, products. You can also do a CSV import. Uh, the CSV import will work by having two fields. One will be a unique identifier such as SKU, and the second column or field will be uh, the quantity. So very similar to what you saw in the bulk add variance, you'll wanna create a CSV with those two headers and underneath there, a unique identifier, and then the quantity you'll want to send from your location to another location. Input the CSV in here, you'll be asked to map the data, and once that's correct, you can import it directly into your stock transfer. Another great way to add products into your stock transfer is by using a barcode scanner as well. So you can hit barcode scan right here. And if you have a barcode scanner attached to your computer, which I've got here via Bluetooth, you can hit barcode scan and actually scan a product directly into your stock transfer. So as you can see, I've scanned a product here, and then I can scan and continue to scan and the quantity will increase as I scan. So it's again, a really efficient way of uh, being able to transfer products quickly uh, using a barcode scanner. So now that I've added the items I wanna scan, I can hit add scanned items. And I've populated a stock transfer with three products uh, that have an available quantity in my source location. It'll be sending from uh, my source location to my destination location. You can also use another feature, which is called the replenish beta. Here, when you click into replenish, you can start to create transfers based on demands at uh, the destination location. So you can suggest based on what you've got at your current source location, you can suggest for a number of days how many products you'd want to add onto your um, actual stock transfer as well. So you can automate the process using this. You can also create a transfer uh, to bring inventories uh, levels up to a maximum stock level. So based on your vendor min max order levels, you can do that or you can uh, create a transfer to bring inventory levels up to the maximum stock levels, only if it's below the minimum stock level. Again, both of these can be uh, written into your vendor or supplier details. And if you have this information uh, correct here, you can hit generate and it will automatically generate the items onto the purchase order for you. Um, so now that I've created my stock transfer, I can write any notes that I might need to do inside of here. So I can say it's a replenishment of shirts for whatever specific reasons. And I can add an employee name as well who's doing the transfer just to keep track of what's happening here. And my source location is correct. My destination location is correct. I can add a tracking number if I need to as well. And then I can add a reason code as to why I'd want to um, actually make this stock transfer too. Quick pro tip, you can actually download this as a CSV. If you download this, download this as a CSV and keep it as a template, you can easily create more um, stock transfer templates that way as well. So another really quick tip is just doing that. And now that you're ready to send the stock transfer, what you'll do is click send. Here you will see a status now that is in transit. So the product numbers are now going to be pulled out of your warehouse location. So your warehouse location will no longer have these 24 items in it as the items have been pulled into a bucket of in transit. 
And right now your destination location will have the same inventory until you've actually received these products. So now uh, imagine a week later or two weeks later, you get a box from one of your locations to another location and you've got uh, products in transit. Here, you'll go back into your stock transfers. The way you'll do that is go to inventory. You'll navigate to stock transfers. Here, you'll get a list of all the stock transfers you've currently made. You can find the one you just created, which is the first one right here, or you can do a filter search right there and then hit into it. It'll pull up the stock transfer specifically with the products on here. And now that you're ready to receive these items, you can simply select receive and it will now sync that product inventory from your source location into your destination location and you'll have a accurate view of inventory at your new location and be ready to sell uh, these items once you've put them out on the store uh, front or you might want to change it from one location to an another location and update the inventory so that you can be ready to sell online too. So that is how you perform stock transfers inside of Stocky.